YouTube, I've lost complete control of my life. I just wanted to play games that I found fun. I just wanted to control my own stream, my own destiny. But I've had a metaphorical gun pointed at my head, and I am being forced to play Frog Fractions Game of the Decade Edition. I don't know what it is, and I don't want to do this. Wave one. Okay, one third. Three quarters. Oh, I ate the apple. Is that good? Wait, are the bugs trying to eat my apples? Oh, are my apples my life? Okay, sniper. <laughs> I'm getting murked by these bugs. Hold. Hold. Okay, you gotta get the railgun technique. Okay, I can get an I can get an upgrade. Okay, okay, okay. PR department requires a work visa. This well-trained team of marketers ensure that the public has the correct impression of you. That costs two thousand zork mids. Let me make my camera smaller so we can see all the bugs. I don't know if I'm willing to spend that many zork mids. I can get static. Oh, that's the only thing I can afford. I can afford a turtle. Upgrade your lily pad to a turtle friend. You can ride him over to grab fruit off to the side. It costs five fruit. Cybernetic brain. Anything your regular old frog brain can do, this newfangled cybernetic frog brain can do better. Okay, I have 17 Zork mids. I'm gonna buy the turtle. Oh, I can't buy more things. Oh, no. Oh, I think turtle was goaded. Oh, because look at now I can actually swag. Am I supposed to be catching fruit? What the? F what am I supposed to be doing here? I am supposed to be catching fruit and it fall it changes color and then it falls. Okay, I'm beginning to I'm beginning to learn. I'm seeing the matrix like Neo. Grab that one. Easy, easy clap. Please get off my fucking apple king. No. Oh, am I just the goat? Oh wait, Zork mids are infinite? I thought I only had 17. Shit, I bought the brain. I don't know. Okay, I, I have to turn this game down even more. It's so loud. It's so loud. One second. Hold. Honestly, early game Zork buy is a pretty rookie move. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm new. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I, I didn't mean to do this in front of you. There. Oh my god, so much better. Okay, so we're, we're trying to get fruit. And we're trying to fraction these. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit and it's bullshit if you don't think so. Double fruit. How did that one fall faster? What in the fuck? Triple fruit. I'm actually so sick. Oh, I missed a present. Okay, that's not bad. That's You know what? That's not bad. Okay, 15 fruit, 9 zork mids. Zork mids are not infinite. I heard that and I went for it. Upgrade your fruit to durians. They smell awful, so bugs will take longer to eat them. Okay, this is good. This is good. Or rub balloons against your tongue before extending it. And nearby bugs will stick to each other. Both seem very good. We're going to go static tongue. Wait, is my tongue getting faster? I feel like that, that tongue is going nuts. That was an impossible double. That's so cringe. Why would you give me an impossible double? Get off, bitch. Oh, easy level. How do I unlock more things? Requires lock on targeting. Oh, I don't have lock on targeting. This eyeball installed auto targeting HUD helps you make a glowy red list of bugs you hate. Uh huh. Okay. Wait, does does hating bugs? Oh, it's just it's literally aimbot. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I'm the Terminator, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, what a broken ability. Holy shit. Uninstall lock on targeting. The chicks don't dig on cyborgs, and it makes the king bugs less fun anyway. Oh, do I have to uninstall it to get other things? Upgrade your turtle friend to a dragon friend? Let's get the durian first. Because I think that means... Oh... Ah! Toe. Do I have to hit enter? None. Hot. Wait, am I supposed to be moving? How do I... 
<laughs> Noon. How do I get my shit? <laughs> Hunt. On to. Two. Neon. How do I move? Oh, is it? At? No, it's not arrow keys. Tenant. No. No. Oh, that was that was stressful. Oh, that was actually so stressful. Uh, we go dragon here. Oh, back to normal. Wait, why is my dragon a little chode dragon compared to the in the vod? The thing is, I'm a bullet hell, Andy. I know, I know what's going on here. Oh, fuck. No! Nasty. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Oh, can you go up? If you could, that would make my life easier. Warp drive. Install a warp drive on your flying dragon. Now he will really take you places. It only needs 24,994 more fruit. The only thing I can do is uninstall laser lock. Oh, I can't even afford uninstalling laser lock. I have to I have to know thanks. Oh, I can go up and down. Oh, that's good. It's, my apologies. I didn't understand the meta. What? This dragon is actually slow. This dragon is in fact dragon ass. Can't make it. I can't make it. Not bad. <clears throat> not a bad run. Not a bad run. Okay, I'm gonna uninstall laser lock to see if that unlocks more things. I can go so high! Oh, I thought I had to stay behind the fruit. Oh my god, this is a game changer. I didn't understand. Okay. <gasps> Lock on targeting again? I, I do sure miss it. I did I did miss it. I'm gonna be honest, I missed it. Oh my god, lock on targeting is actually so goaded. Am I nasty with it? Should I go for the world record in this? Okay, okay. <laughs> Do we un we can't uninstall it again. We can't uninstall it again, can we? Oh, shit, it was a typing one. What the fuck? Dude, the typing one is so stressful. Oh, feet. Sorry. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oof. Oof. Okay, we uninstall it again. We're definitely gonna. We're definitely gonna make progress here by installing and uninstalling. No. Oh fuck! I uninstalled it. That's. So much harder to play. No. Lock on is li makes the game so fucking easy, actually. <gasps> oh my god, my dragon's actually got a fucking dumpy. No. How did I not realize that? No. 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 Okay, we we get it back. We get we get it we get it back. Dude, I'm actually- these presents are not dropping where I want them to drop. <laughs> We're just making a big circle here. Well, I can't afford it. Come on, present. Come 
Come on, present. happening here <laughs> what in god's name is happening here oh no did it make a fart noise when i spelled it right that was cringe Absurd. This is actually fucking absurd. Am I playing the video game? I've been on wave one for the rest for my entire life. Okay, I'm just I'm looking for presents. Instinct says that I should just keep doing what I'm doing <laughs> and eventually the screen will fill up and something will happen uh, with the lock on targeting and the no lock on targeting. Might be a typing. No. Am I missing something? Requires padlocks, voice modulator, warp requires warp drive, warp drive. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Something's going wrong here. I feel like I haven't seen a present drop in an hour. Did I do something wrong? This is a abuse victims. Did I do something wrong? Okay. No present. No present. Please don't eat my durian. I've got so many durians. Like a billion. <gasps> I can buy warp drive. I didn't think about diving in. Glad you could finally make it, Lieutenant Hop. We're dealing with a serious infestation here. Is that Einstein? Be careful around those asteroids. Don't let them push you around. Okay. Is that Smokey the Bear? Who was that? I missed it. A Ber Bergsy. Wait, what? Racist bugs? Aw. Stop. You're cringe. I'm actually getting getting twerked. There's a bug Mars now, their home planet. Cringe. No. No. Sniper. Oh, he's moving. Don't say bugs are just like me, FRFR. <laughs> and they're talking about the bugs being racist. That did not hit me. This is cringe. No, no. Present. Oh, what was that thing? Did I get it? Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. See you on the other side. Warning. No refuge. I wonder if the big guy over there has any tips about dealing with fractions. Oh, you are under arrest. <laughs> I don't know what this game is. Mr. Hop, the charges against you were severe. You're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? <laughs> you got the wrong dude. My name is Mr. Leap. <laughs> Amphibious, your honor. Not guilty. You know what? Not guilty. That's the spirit. We find the defendant guilty. These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor. But there's a special offer this week. How would you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Oh, I'm down. I've never been to a buggy or Mars. Thank you. Wandil, thank you for the sub. Excellent. All you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? Bugs. A little bit on the nose, isn't it? You can blame Bug Betsy Ross for that one. Next question. On the series, Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Ice cream doesn't exist on Mars. Well, I had to try, didn't I? Four score and 20 bugs ago, bug in chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable right? Yes. The right to bugs. As the revered document says, the only right you'll ever need. <laughs> During the War of Bug 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? Enough to reach the ground. The very words he used. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? Oh man, I love them. 
<laughs> I know, right? Fractions. I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we decided to issue you a work visa. If you'll just sign here. YOLO. <laughs> wow. Everyone loves a novelty signature. Just ask Bug John Hancock. Wow. Wave Mars. Mars fractions are the best fractions. I was thinking the same thing, Amaranth. <laughs> I can't get to those presents, dude. They're too quick. Why would I draw a penis? These bugs let me become a citizen. I should respect their processes. Oh, not again. Not again. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end, until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. Where am I going? Why am I learning about boxing? And am I gonna have to go back this entire way? Shit, we go down. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637, after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate Sleepless Bill Bishop, to a match, Bishop was the odds on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. Mm. That's when they invented punching. It was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game. Officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After <laughs> Where does it say a dog sports, can't play cool basketball? Single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. Yeah, the frog is the controlling a dragon while being explained the history of a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. Oh, and though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. Oh, no dead end. The real wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. Oh, I'm escaping Mars. It was that simple. Command module. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. 
Command module. The walls of this circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. If you don't know how to get started, type help and press enter. What next? Um, um, look at display. Ooh, a glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked and an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled route details and new destination. New destination, baby. I'm going home. What next? New destination. The, oh, sorry, me. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so abstruse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button or the main map again. Cringe! Okay, fair, fair. What was the other button? Uh, root details. Okay. The screen spills for the slew of steps, such as spiral spinward at Spathi system, far faster than you can fathom. What next? Look around. The walls of the circular room meet at a point, correspond to the curved nose of the hole, a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. Control deck. Best not to fiddle with the controls. Okay, porthole, man. I don't understand. Look through porthole, you frog son of a bitch. I don't understand what you want to look through. Oh, I did prot hole. Fuck. Look through porthole. There we go. Through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. A porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. Um, cry. I don't understand. I cry. I only understood as far as I. Okay, help. <laughs> Look around, examine. Okay, good. Get wrench, turn knob, push button, enter phone booth, climb stairs, open box, read pamphlet, pour orange juice into glass, put plate on placemat. Read pamphlet. Am I the dumb one? <laughs> Okay, 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 perfect. Get wrench? Can I do those? I. Uh, what if they're giving me a hint? That was just an example. There are no wrenches in space. You son of a bitch. Oh, inventory? Inventory. You're not holding anything. Of course I'm not. Of course I'm not. Um, open door. No. Leave ship. No. Um, sleep. There's nowhere to sleep! Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look around again. Look around. The walls of the circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. Oh, a ladder leads aft. Climb ladder. <laughs> My bad. Hey, you know what? My bad. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Move rug. Moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below it. Your score has gone up by two-fifths of a point. Uh, go down hatch. The hatch is closed. Open hatch. You have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Go down hatch. <laughs> Now we're talking. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There is a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. What next? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Look at wires. Okay, yeah, yeah. Look at machine. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform, a handwritten sheet of paper that has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. Read paper. Oh, I'm making progress, baby. This is the out-of-order note included in your game package. Okay, unfortunate. Fix machine. I don't know how you want to fix that. Turn spigot. It's not clear how to get the spigot to work. You son of a bitch. Look at goop. A thin coating of sticky pink goop covers every surface of the room. Eat goop. You're not hungry. Lick goop. You're not hungry. Touch goop. Seems to be fixed in place. Okay. Hit machine. You can't just go breaking things on a spaceship. You'll punch a hole in the hole. You son of a bitch. 
Okay. Okay, I can't hit it. What else do we have? Look at machine. A spigot aimed at a flat platform. Look at platform. The machine consists of a spigot. Oh, what? Okay. Stand on platform? I don't understand. Go to platform. That's not a place you can go. Taste goop. <laughs> uh-huh. Cry? No. Oh, look around. Let me get let me get my head back in the game. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. Oh, wires, 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 wires. Look at wires. Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can that you're guessing doesn't belong there. Take coffee can. You twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off an adjacent wire in the process and it begins sparking as it comes in contact with an adjacent strut. You glance down at what you've taken. Huh, it really is a coffee can. Grab wire. Look at can. An empty coffee can. Um, I have an empty coffee can. Uh, you've ripped the adjacent... Look at wires. There's a bare wire in there sparking as it makes contact with an adjacent strut. I, I, I want to take goop. The goop is stuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, can you fill can with goop? That's kind of what I was thinking. No, it's stuck. It's stuck. Scoop the goop. <laughs> Poop diddy scoop. Um, okay. Put can on wire. That doesn't go there. Uh-huh. Put can on platform. You place the can below the spigot. Turn spigot. It's not clear how to get the spigot to work. Look at spigot. Ah, I want to fill the can. I want to fill the can so bad. There's an empty coffee can sitting under the spigot. A handwritten sheet out of out of order. Hastily taped over the base. Okay, okay. Remove. I got it. 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 Remove paper. You rip the note off, leaving a fluttering piece of electrical tape behind and revealing a control panel. Tape wire. You need to be holding. Hold tape, bitch. <laughs> Grab tape. Tape wire. You wrap the tape around the bare wire, insulating it. Your score has gone up. Yes, 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 yes. Go to control panel. That's not what what did they call it in this? Revealing a control panel. Turn on spigot. This is a this is space. Machines aren't on or off. Machines just are. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Look at machine. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform. There's an empty coffee can sitting under the spigot. A control panel sits below with what looks like two usable preset buttons and a big red lever. Pull lever, baby. Oh, no. Dispensing mom's specialty, the machine says. A thick stream of pink goop steams out. streams out. It mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. A few drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Atmospheric anomaly detected. A different voice says, a whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into the invisible vents, leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. Drink goop. Those drops earlier were enough bacon milkshake. Okay. Push button. The raise button clicks into place, and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. Now we pull lever. The machine whirs, dispensing local currency, a voice, dispensing local currency, a voice says. A thick stream of Zork mids shoot out of the faucet, bounce off of the flat platform, and scatter around the room. What next? Take Zork mids. Hell yeah. You spend a few minutes gathering up the scattered Zork mids. Your score has gone up by a third of a point. What next? <laughs> look, look around, I guess. I took so many Zork mids. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be getting thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There is a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. Blobs of sticky pink goop drift around the room. What next? <laughs> oh, there is a hole. Go in hole? That's not a place you can go. 
I, I, I looked at machine. Look at machine. Didn't I? The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform. A control panel sits below with what looks like two usable preset buttons and a big red lever. Pull lever again. Unable to dispense local currency. Yeah, but the one button was pressed. Watch. Push button, it'll just go back to milkshake. Chat. Come on. Mom's specialty. See? And then pull lever. One button undepressed when you push the other one. Interesting. Money isn't infinite. Uh, I'm not going to stick my froggy dick in the hole. Chat. There are two buttons. You just watched me hit the button. If you push one button, the other button goes up. Do you understand? It's a binary here. <laughs> there's milkshake and there's money. Unless... <laughs> push both buttons at once. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to type win game, Jojo. Relax. I, I see you typing that 100,000 times. Oh, what next? What next? What next? Go to captain's quarters. Oh, this looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads up to the fore. Okay. We went to the aft. A sleeping pod. Um, go in pod. You can't safely sleep until you're confident you'll return to bug Mars by the end of the trip. Of course. Of course. Check nightstand. Fuck. Check nightstand. What? Look at nightstand. Two words? The nightstand offers a single drawer, which is closed. Open drawer. You open the drawer, revealing a thick manual. Read manual. I don't understand what you want to read. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I spelled it wrong. I spelled, I spelled it wrong. Open manual. It's a manual for the navigation computer in the command module. After leaving through it, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to set up a route back to Bug Mars. Yes. Go down ladder. Yes. Go to command, what was it called? Control deck. Control deck. That's not, <laughs> control deck, please. What? Okay, display. Go to display, that's what it was. Display! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Look at display. There we go. Oh, thank God. New destination. You definitely, you deftly plot a course back to Bug Mars. The engines roar and you feel G-forces shift. The ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. Huh. You run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through Bug Customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. Go to, oh, go up ladder. Go up ladder. Uh, go to pod. Your head barely touched the pillow when an alarm begins repeating, Perfume chamber empty! You will wake up cranky. <laughs> you assume it's going to stop eventually, but a couple minutes later it still hasn't. You get up. There's no way you can sleep like this. <laughs> Why is the perfume chamber empty? Check perfume chamber. <laughs> of course. Look around. This looks like an all-purpose living area. Sleeping pods sit next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore. You pull the rugs, reveal... Yeah, yeah. Revealing a hatchway leading aft. Go aft. You slip through the hatch. Engine room. Okay, there's got to be something else in here. Punch wall. You can't. You can't. I, I have to get some music going. This is This is bizarre. Thank God. Okay. Oh, Evan, thank you for the raid. Dojo Dragon, thank you for the 10 months. I need to find the perfume department. Let's read manual. Look at manual. Go to captain's quarters. Open drawer. Read manual. Okay. Okay, go for Look at control deck The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks Let's hope you never need to override the ship's autopilot because these are definitely not frog joysticks 
<laughs> okay. Flip the switch. Grab joystick. All right. All right. All right. All right. Look at display. The navigation computer shows you the route back to Bug Mars with an ETA of 57 and 3 fifths years, including the time spent in customs. Uh, I might be able to examine the pod. Go up ladder. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. Look at pod. The sleeping pod looks like a bed with a lid, but you have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? There's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. Oh! Oh! Poor goop in hole. You bring the can close to the hole and the hole sucks the pink goop right in. The nearby gauge fills up. Sleep. I think I did it. You lie down in the sleeping pod, close the lid and drift off. Secure that in 57 and something years, you'll return to Bug Mars a wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You blearily glance around to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping on a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already. A wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose. <clears throat> and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps, and you realize... You've been transmorgified into human form. I can't lick. And I Oh, I'm going to I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm a human. Oh, I'm going to get swarmed. Shit. Watch out, man. They're eating your fruit. Oh fuck. You awake with a start. What a horrible dream. You call your friend Draggy the Flying Dragon just to talk to someone. Hello, Draggy says. I just had the worst nightmare. You explain the situation. I'm not sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy ponders. Maybe if we drummed up a little publicity first? I know, just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door dressed to the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. Ha ha ha, he ha 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 ha. Giant jewels, thank you so much for the two months. <laughs> Candidate Hop, what say you to allegations that you are not a natural born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? Oh no. Is it wazd or is it? Combos. Oh, he's actually starting to believe. Oh, just kidding. He's bad. <laughs> this is so hard. I'm bad. Oh, not bad though. I'm the president of Mars. Betsy Blue Bonnet. Sir Clarence Gastropod. Ferdinand Croker. Flaps McQueen. Morag Helia. 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 <laughs> and introducing Draggy Ceiling Eater as himself. Created by Twinbeard. <laughs> Frog Fractions. Numerators and denominators. Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Thank you. Heavy on the cream. <laughs> B 
bug 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 weather cloudy <laughs> bug economy manager oh no oh no Weather report, cloudy, bug assets, 2 million Zork mids, cost to produce bug porn, 10,000 Zork mids slash megabyte, per megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Um, well, let's just do the math. If it costs 10,000 Zork mids per megabyte, a uh, hundred would be a hundred thousand, sorry, 10 would be a hundred thousand, a hundred would be a million. So we can do 200, 200 megabytes of bug porn. <laughs> Don't worry, this interface is temporary. Bug software engineers are hard at work on Bug XL 98. <clears throat> Cost reduced bug porn, 10,000 Zork bits a megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn to make? 200. How many pop up banner ads? Zero. Which price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? Uh, I paid what? How much did I pay? 10? I'll charge 20. <laughs> Five. Day one results. Superb performance has made today's bug porn too hot. The warehouse burned down. You made 200 megabytes of bug porn at $10,000 a megabyte. You sold zero. Oh, 10,000, not 10. I was trying to be a fan of the people. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Budget 2 million, GDP zero, profit negative 2 million. How many Zorkmans do you want to order the Bug Federal Reserve to print? That many. I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problem. Ooh. I can finally get the upgrades. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this. We have bug drugs. Drugging the water supply will pacify delinquent bugs, keeping them off the streets and out of trouble. And not coincidentally, staying home and watching bug porn for 2 million Zorkmids. Great, I have I have enough. Or meteorology satellites, a system of satellites to help your meteorologists provide more accurate and precise weather forecasts. No, we definitely want bug drugs. Bug weather, hot and dry. <laughs> I have eight million Zork mids. Okay, it costs ten thousand. How many megabytes do I want to make? I, I I don't know, man. Fifty. Fifty megabytes. How many pop up banners? 10 <laughs> what price 25k day two results juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product the thumbs up everybody wants to see the dry weather makes thirsty bugs bugs marveled at your low prices and kept coming to your door long after you ran out of porn you made 50 megabytes of bug porn at ten thousand dollars a megabyte you sold 50 at twenty five thousand that's a profit of 600,000. Hell yeah. How many Zorkmans do you want to order from the Federal Reserve? Zero. That's confident, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm confident. And then I'm going to grab... Wait, I didn't even see padlocks. Adding padlocks to bug porn storage warehouses should cut down on shrinkage. Oh, interesting. Presidential swimming pool, but you need all of these. Okay, okay. Let's get the padlocks. <gasps> Thunderstorms. Is that good? An outbreak of frog STDs and bug porn actors is driving production costs up. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, we could still... Oh, it costs a little more to make. We'll make 50 again. We're going to put 20 pop-up banners. We're going to charge 30,000. It's not you. It's my inability to distinguish you from prey. Okay. Day three results. The in-house bug porn musician decided to make bug classical crossover today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs marveled at your low prices and kept coming to your door long after you ran out. Oh, amazing. How many Zork mids do I want to order? Zero. I'm, I'm doing great. Let's get, the, let's get that. All right, Cloudy is big. I think we're going to go expensive this time. We're going to make 100. We are going to do 30 pop-up banners. And we are going to charge 50,000. Impressive wingspan. <laughs> mm -mm. The bug porn sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. No! The bug porn sensors bought all your bug porn at lunchtime. Wait, did they buy it though? Oh yeah, they bought it. Oh, this is good. All right, I made 100 megabytes. They bought a lot. How many Zork mids do you want the Federal Reserve to print? Uh, a million. <laughs> 
I guess. <laughs> I could get the swimming pool. Ooh, don't mind if I do. When you're done taking a break here, we need to get back to work, huh? Banana, banana. Wait, did I win? Speedrun world record? I finished frog fractions? Oh, hell yeah, I'm goaded. That was an experience. <laughs> that was an experience for sure. Not bad for a first time. World record time is 7 minutes and 36 seconds. I see. I think a lot of it would be the boxing part, right? Oh, are those bugs doing what I think they're doing? This is definitely one of the games of our lifetime. <laughs> this was one of the games of our lifetime. <laughs> Well, there we go, chat. I think that's it. I'm going to stop watching these bugs um, uh, reproducing. And I'm going to move to, to a, a different game. A different game for sure. Hope you liked it. <laughs>